I thought I popped my implant. It was bad. <laughs> Happy birthday on three, two. Hey, what's up, K-Stars? We are back with another weekly vlog. I don't even know what week this is now. We are getting deep into 2021, and I am just so excited to be able to talk to y'all again this week. So I think this week, I kinda wanna focus on my physical fitness, just getting my body back. I've done really well with this whole pandemic situation with not eating too much and just watching my snacks and all that good stuff, which has actually helped me to shed a lot of extra pounds. And I know some of you think that I have been able to shed these pounds because of the Peloton, but I have to admit, I have been very, very bad at being consistent with that bike. So I cannot attribute my weight loss to the bike. But this week, I wanna kinda of focus on like my eating habits, my water, getting back on the bike and being consistent with my regimen. I think this is something we all could be thinking about because as Drake says, we about to be going out more and wearing a little bit less. So you know what I'm saying? Things are about to be on the up and up. So with that being said, welcome to the vlog. We're gonna be talking about the body this week, okay? The body yada yada. And we're gonna incorporate other things too because I know for those of you who are the corporate girls or the corporate guys out there, you guys want a little bit of mature stuff as well. So we're gonna dabble in a little bit of everything. But with that please hit the thumbs up button drop your star your comment all that good stuff in the comment section so i know you guys made it and let's go ahead and get into this week's vlog i've got 30 minutes if you want to spill your mind give me all your reasons to why i should take my time used to have forever but you never can that much okay you guys really quickly though i want to tell you about this past weekend Trust my senses, catch me if I fall So done with second guessing, you seem to have it all In loving the for anything, emotional too soon You got my invitation, now the rest is up to you Kick it rendezvous, make some time for me and you Get you over, treat you right We vibing like a uh -huh. Kick it rendezvous, make some time for me and you So today is actually Tuesday and I am done with work. So I was just trying to fix my face. So like, I don't know about you guys, but as the day goes on, my nose, I get so oily right here. And then like my nose runs and my eyes water all day. I think I have like a mild, mild, mild allergy. So if you guys ever watch my videos and I have like missing makeup right here, it's cause I wipe my nose all day. <laughs> so I was trying to fix my face really quick because I need to run a quick errand. I actually, I gotta, he's not in here, but today's Brian's birthday, so I'm going to pick up a cake for him, and I think that's it. I actually, I don't know, I'm gonna run and get like his gift, like his last gift, 
and just make sure I have everything taken care of because the cake place closes at 6 o'clock. It's 5.20 right now, and I do not want that cake to not be picked up on time. So, uh, really quickly though, I'm about to put on this lip gloss. I wanted to tell you guys about this because it's from my boo, Cashmere London. She is like one of my faves. She's been sending me her things, like her products as she gets them and gets new stuff. And she had sent me this gloss. This is called... Uh, this is her Fifth Avenue gloss, and y'all is such a great freaking red. So I'm about to put this back on. I actually, it's what is around my lips, and I put some chapstick on. <laughs> so if my lips are looking crazy, it's because it's I wore it off when I ate. But it's such a good gloss. It looks so good. The color is so pretty too. Like oh my goodness. Yeah, that looks really really pretty. So I hope you guys like that. And I I did I would be remiss to not tell you about her um her lip gloss because it's so bomb and then I'm about to throw my express jacket back on I got this jacket from express it, it was on one of my past hauls and it's like a menswear jacket it's so cute but it's kind of different like it's not my normal style of suit coat but I love suit coats I, I honestly I don't know what you guys like I really really like jackets so in anytime I can put something over cover my arms up because I'm always cold it's like a hit with me so this jacket it's unique because it's long it's oversized but it's super cute and the color is really really pretty and I kind of like the pairing of this red lip gloss with the green jacket and I actually posted a picture on my Instagram this week with this look I, I just posted a minute ago but because y'all are gonna see this on Friday you know it was earlier in the week and I just think it looks really great together so those are the two things I wanted to tell you I feel like there's something else I wanted to tell you guys about but I'm just I'm drawing a blank right now let me get this jacket so I can change okay I had to move y'all over here oops sorry about that I had to move y'all over here though this camera be clutch look how crispy that looks you guys oh my goodness <laughs> <laughs> that looks so crispy very professional I even got a message from one of my co-workers she was like wow you know what you guys this is not from Express yeah this is definitely not Express I don't know who this is I'm so glad I just thought about this is not from Express I totally made that up but let me show y'all it's like oversized really cute and then I did a braid today and you probably saw the clips like I had to cut the end off of the braid I don't know why it keeps trying to go over there um but I just cut the ends off the braid because it was looking crazy like it was extra long and I didn't dip it in hot water today so I put a little tie on it but uh no so let me run this errand because I don't want to be late but I did want to catch up with you guys since we haven't really talked that much so far this week but yeah this camera is crispy oh my goodness I am so excited. These are from Quay. I didn't tell you guys, I lost my glasses that I got from Quay. Or Key, oh, why am I saying Quay? From Key, I lost my glasses from Key, the um, sunglasses store. And I couldn't find them anywhere. Like I have no clue what I did with them. And they gotta be in the house, but I just gave up. So they were running a sale, like buy one, get one. So I just decided to get a pair of glasses that I wanted and then order the ones I had <laughs> to replace the ones I lost. <laughs> so worst case, if I find them, I'll just give these away. But I'm really excited. So let's do a really quick try on haul while we're in the car. Okay, so this is the first pair. Oh, I like these new cases too. Okay, okay. Okay, these I think are my old glasses, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. Okay, so yeah, I'm pretty sure these are my old glasses. So cute. Okay. I like really love these and was heartbroken when I couldn't find them. And they're so affordable. Like these glasses were, I think, $55 or $65. You can't beat that. Not for glasses that look like this. I'm used to paying a couple hundred bucks and I just, I told myself, not this year. So that's the first pair. And the second pair, these are really, they were really cute on the website. Oh my gosh, I didn't tell you guys, I fell down Saturday. Outside it was raining and I caught myself running to the car, slipped and fell straight on my face. Tore my hand up, my hand, 
you can't really see that, but my hand is tore up. Well, it doesn't look as bad anymore, it just looks like a little scratch, but it was tore up. And then I, um, my two fingers, these two fingers, they hurt so bad. I thought I popped my implants, like it was bad. <laughs> it was really, really bad. So I'm actually now like just kinda getting over it. I was hurting a lot, I was hurting bad. Like I went to bed Saturday night with a headache. I was like kinda worried to go to sleep. My chin was swole, I looked like a witch. It was really bad. That's how come when I went to, to the store out of town this weekend, I didn't really get on camera, not my face, cause my chin was swole. So let me show y'all these, okay. And I don't remember the names, let me see if they have the names on here. So, okay, the first ones are called Hindsight, and these are called Max Out, which this actually matches my, my uh, jacket. So, ooh, these are cute. Do y'all like those? These lashes are, are getting in the way though. <laughs> but they're called Max Out in Hindsight, in case you guys wanted to check them out. I don't know if that sale is still running on, or running right now, but that was a really good sale. Buy one, get one. So I got both of these for 70 bucks, which is $35 a piece. And I'm pretty sure that included taxes and shipping, if I'm not mistaken. So, you really can't beat that. Oh my goodness, my car is mad at me. Okay, these are weird with the uh, the sunlight. Like the sunlight looks really weird inside of these, but they're they're really freaking cute. So we just gonna have to let it do what it do. Okay. Mm. I feel super stylish in these boys. Oh yeah, I might have to get these in another color too. But this green, y'all. Let me know what you think about these glasses. I like. I'm loving them. And I love that now I have the black and I have the green to pick from. I saw this video, it was this guy, he's a plastic surgeon, and my friend sent me this, like it was basically this reconstruction he did. I don't, I don't know if you call it a reconstruction, it was like a facelift. And we were talking just about how amazing the results were. We were like, oh my gosh, those results are amazing. So I go and I look at his page and he has this lady and he's showing all these different faces. He starts with the first lady. And I think he goes through like four faces of different women that he's done work to. And then he just kind of starts to say like right now over this whole quarantine pandemic situation, he's had a lot of people coming asking to do this particular treatment to them. And basically it's like a facelift, but it's not as invasive where he kind of goes in and he like lifts the cheeks and he does some things and he tucks back here by the ear. So it's not as obvious that the person had like a facelift, but he was just saying how the people who are getting this done are younger and younger and younger. And he was ultimately saying he feels like everybody being at home is making people look at themselves more use more filters we're on social media all the time we're comparing ourselves i mean i feel like in this day and age we're so used to seeing people seeing everyone show the most perfect perspective of themselves i mean you always hear when you post pictures on instagram make sure it's your your best photo make sure you're doing good good work it's good quality the set and the third so everybody's trying to get their best angles their best pictures their best outfits and it's really giving this perspective of like if you are just regular you're not doing it right you know what i'm saying or you need to change something and at the end of the day it's just not a realistic perception or it's not a realistic expectation for all of us to be putting on ourselves because you never are going to be perfect you're never going to be instagram perfect all the freaking time and you have to really like moderate that and make sure you're like checking yourself if you ever feel yourself slipping into that and I will say like there have been times where I go to take a picture for my story because I'm trying to like tell a story or share a moment and I'll take the picture and I don't use a filter and then I'll be like oh it would look cuter with the filter but the first picture was fine without the freaking
freaking filter but you know the filters make everything look so perfect they snatch things up they take away the little extra fat right here like everything just looks so snatched and it's just giving you this very smooth perfect look and I know I'm getting a little older so there's certain things about my face that you you can tell I'm not 25 no more so I like started to kind of check myself and today I actually posted a picture without the filter because I was like you know what I have to like I feel like the filters are fine but I don't want to be in the habit of every time I feel like I got to take a freaking picture I have to use a filter and I will say I'm glad that I've been not incorporating filters on my main page other than I do edit my pictures with Lightroom to make sure all the color of my photos is kind of similar like I don't always get it right but I try to make my photos look like the same color but I'm trying to be more cognizant of over judging myself and feeling like I need to do that which I don't knock anybody for doing that but at the same time I noticed that after I watched his video I was becoming aware of the fact that I was critiquing myself extra hard and I'm like hold on now that is not even necessary so just some food for thought because I honestly don't think I had thought about the fact that we are sitting at home you're walking past mirrors all day like when I was at work I, did, I didn't have time to be looking in the mirror and looking at myself and taking more pictures and you know it's like you get a break you have lunch you take a photo and at some point it's just like you have more access to it than like we did or at least I did because my life used to be more you know fast paced than it is now like I'm busy but at the same time I have more downtime because I, ha I don't have a commute so I for sure know I have fallen into that trap so I just want to throw that out there for those of you who maybe you haven't become aware of that that it's okay to not use a filter it's okay to not be perfect and to not look perfect and to be Instagram freaking perfect all the time because that's just not a realistic expectation for any of us like at the end of the day you are a human and I just I don't know like as I get older I do feel like sometimes I'm like my body is betraying me this has changed that has changed but I just honestly feel so blessed to be here and I think about the people who didn't make it to the age that I am and how they would probably trade anything to be able to have those little things change about them <laughs> I think my head is chopped off, so let me move this up. There we go, it's a little better. Yeah, we're going to pick up dinner. We ordered dinner for tonight since it's Brian's birthday. We're going to have our dinner and then we're going to have cake. I still got to get my ride in tonight. I told myself I was doing the Peloton this week, so we're going to get that ride in be a good girl I also did an order for pickup for lunch I got a lot of fruit a lot of good things because I told myself like this is my week to start to make some transitions I was talking to my brother and he said he lost like 10 pounds in one week simply by making some changes to what he was eating he said he hasn't even really been going that hard on the bike yet but he's just stopped doing like the bad stuff the things that I've been doing so I'm excited because I'm about to do the same exact thing. I have a lot of people who've been saying to me they think it looks like I've lost weight, but I really haven't lost any more weight since the first couple of pounds I lost. Like I used to weigh 166, 167, and right now I think I'm like 157. So I got down to about 154, and then <laughs> I gained back those couple of pounds. So I am like 157 right now. I think that's what the doctor said when they weighed me the last time. And I have honestly on purpose not been getting on the scale in my bathroom <laughs> because I get mad when I see them couple of pounds come back on y'all. So 
I'll weigh my, I'll try to get my weight on camera like when I do it tomorrow, but tonight is gonna definitely not be the best in terms of my meal, mainly because it's birthday time, so you know what I'm saying. We gonna, we gonna enjoy ourselves just a little bit. Now, my mom, I wanted to tell you guys, my mom, hopefully she's okay with me sharing this with you guys, but she had her vaccine today, so we are about, what would it be? She gets her, her second shot. No, this is her second shot, so we're about two weeks from when we can go and see her. So I am going to be planning a trip to go and see my mom. I'm really excited. I probably will go and see her without the twins for the first time just because, you know, we want to give enough of a buffer after she has her first, her second vaccine to just make sure everything is cool. Even though I saw a study that showed that after the first dose, you're like 80% or that first dose showed 80% efficacy in hospital staff. So that was really good to see, but we're going to wait, give it some time and just make sure her, uh, you know, her body has enough time to make sure it recognizes anything in the event that she's exposed. So, I am so excited. I haven't seen my mom. Like, I just don't even know how I'm gonna react when I first see her, because it's been so, so, so long. Like, this is crazy. But, y'all, I just have to say, like, God is so good. I just feel so blessed and just happy and fulfilled and grateful. I was thinking today about how I've been beating myself up about some of my goals. And I just have to remind myself of all the goals I've been able to achieve and get knocked out and I've created these new goals. But at the same time, it's just a blessing that I've been able to achieve everything that I set for myself. And a lot of the stuff I just didn't even think I was gonna be able to do. And it's just crazy because you guys, like sometimes I beat myself up about really little things that I'm trying to do right now. You know, some of it on YouTube, some of it in other areas. And it's just crazy because I think we <laughs> we put these high expectations on ourselves around things that we feel like we should be able to accomplish. And like for me right now, I have so many things I'm doing, so many hats I'm wearing that it is honestly a little bit overwhelming. And to think that I'll be able to really master all these things at the same time, I, I just, I don't even know if that's realistic. So, <laughs> so yeah, y'all like, it's just like if I was only doing YouTube, it'd be a different story. Or if I was only doing, you know, trading, it'd be a different story. And I want to do more trading, which it's just, it, you really can't swing trade right now. Like swing trading is not ideal in this current market with the way the market is. I really like to do well in the market right now, you need to be day trading. So I don't know. I'm just like, you know, wishing I had more time because there have been so many opportunities I've missed. Like, oh my gosh. Like today, I looked at Tesla. Tesla was at $596, I think it was. I literally had just texted my cousin like, yo, did you see Tesla? Tesla's under 600 again. This is the third time Tesla's tested under 600. I had traded Tesla the other day, bought Tesla at, I think it was 604 and sold Tesla at six. I think it was 615 or 616 and today at close tesla was up in like the 630s or like 630 something and i was just thinking like dang i knew i knew because it tested the buyer's level that it was gonna be a great day and i just i don't have time for that i have a job you know what i'm saying so y'all like it's crazy you just you can't Beat yourself up though about all these little goals you set when you just don't have the time for it. So you gotta prioritize. I think that's like what I wanna just drive home for you is prioritize yourself, prioritize your goals. And it's okay to have long timelines for the goals that we set. I was actually thinking about that the other day too, about how like sometimes we set these goals and we expect to do them like right away. And it's okay to set a longer timeline for whatever you're trying to achieve because you don't gotta do it all overnight, okay? But anyways, I'm kind of rambling and that's not my intention here, but I feel like I have a lot on my mind that I'm kind of unloading on you guys. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish this drive and then get home so we can celebrate Brian's birthday, his 48th, no, I'm just playing, he ain't 48. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be so mad. <laughs> I tried to play him. But no, we're going to celebrate Brian's birthday and just, you 
you know, thank God that he has another amazing year with his family. This is his second birthday in quarantine too, y'all. This is crazy. <laughs> Carving knife. Can we just be great? <laughs> Goodness. Alright, babe, go ahead and blow out your candles. Make a wish. Basically because if I get hot, I'm up. So I got hot last night for some reason. I think it's because the season's changing and I probably don't have the heat dropping low enough in the middle of the night. So I was burning up at about like four o'clock. Woke up and I stayed up until, it was from like three, whatever it was like 3.30, 3.40 until five. And then finally I just couldn't take it no more. I got up out the bed and I got on the Peloton. So I rode the Peloton got me a really good ride in and my ride was was with Tundi. Tundi is one of the newer instructors she's so amazing absolutely love her and today she was talking well in the ride um she was talking about women i think it was international women's day and she had cut her hair so she basically was just saying it was something she had thought about doing for a really long time she finally did it and she was so proud of herself for doing it and i have to admit you guys like i cried it was such a moment it was so beautiful and i like I work out on the Peloton, but I have to admit, I've never really been somebody who worked out throughout my life. It's just really never been my thing. I had to push myself to do it, make myself do it. But working out on that bike, like there have been rides that are just so emotional and just really get you in the zone. Like, I don't know if it's because you're pushing your body and your body already is fatigued and you're just like vulnerable <laughs> or what, but when she shared that moment, it was just so touching that I literally, I literally cried so 
I have to say I thoroughly enjoyed that ride. She also talked a lot about just how important it is to push through and to, she kept saying like, just do it. So at first I was thinking about the Nike slogan, but when she got into the whole concept, she was ultimately saying like, first, I think it started with, if you are thinking about you wanna up your resistance, but you don't because you're procrastinating or you don't wanna push yourself, just do it. Which resistance is what you turn to make it harder on the ride. And then she's like, and if you're going through things in your life and you're you know, going back and forth about it, just do it. And I can totally relate to that. Like there are times where I feel analysis paralysis and I don't do things that I know I should and ultimately I need to just do it. And it also kind of makes me think about like points in my life where I was really wanting to do something and I did just do it and be, I did it when I didn't feel like doing it and I pushed through. And a lot of times when you do things, when you don't feel like doing it, you end up feeling like doing it once you get into it. So that, that kind of rhymed, that's not like a nice little uh, rap. <laughs> But no, I just, I wanted to share that with you guys because it was a really good moment. For those of you who have the Peloton bike, if you haven't done the International Women's Day ride with Tundi, I definitely recommend it. It was a, an amazing ride. It's only 30 minutes, so you don't have to feel like you're doing too much, but you will most likely enjoy it. I'm so cold, I'm trying to turn this heat up, but y'all probably hear that like, what is that? <laughs> so yeah, it was really, really good. The other thing, we had Brian's birthday last night and I feel really bad because Brian, as I told you guys, this is his second birthday in quarantine and we have been like, you know, chilling with everything going on. This, this angle, like I'm not in love with the angle, but whatever. Um, but we've been like chilling, you know what I'm saying, staying out the way. And it kind of sucks for him because Brian is one of those people where he likes to celebrate his birthday. So. I know next year we're gonna have to go all out for his birthday, do something super big, fully, thoroughly enjoy it, and just, you know, really, really celebrate his birthday, his life, and all that good stuff, because I feel like doing it with the kids is fun, but it's nothing like having some adult celebration and really, you know, enjoying the day, especially when you work as hard as he does. So, it was a nice day, but nothing like the birthdays I think we've had in the past. So yeah, this week has kind of been like a little bit of an eventful week in a way for me with our sump pump. We had our sump pump go out on and it was really, really scary. I honestly had just been thinking we need to have our sump pump replaced and I hadn't called because I kept saying I was gonna call the people, I was gonna call the people to have them come and service our sump pump and then we got the alarm, the alarm started going off sump pump had to be replaced the guy came out he ended up replacing it with one on his truck but I had to schedule a follow-up where they're gonna put in a whole new system for us on this Friday which that's like two thousand dollars for a whole system which I just thank God we're able to do that but it was really scary I was really freaking out I was so stressed because I was worried that it was going to flood the basement thank God it didn't but I just, I have to say you guys, like when you have something on your mind, just do it. <laughs> because Lord, that could have been really, really, really bad. And I just, I really thank God that that did not turn out horribly. And I also, I went to, what's the name of that place? Home Goods. And had so much fun at Home Goods. And this was this weekend. And just, oh my gosh, you guys, I got away was actually I was a little bit stressed and for me that was a little retail therapy even though I didn't spend a lot of money but I did get a chance to go to home good but I'm about to get the twins some food their dad is gonna pick them up and my dinner that I'm making tonight is not gonna be ready in time thank you oh is there one more for punch is there one more for punch? There are three meals. Oh, there were? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there were. Here's that third. Thanks so much. And there's a third one. Oh, you thank you. Yeah, that would be great. All right, you have a great rest of your day. You too. Thanks so much. The twins wanted KFC. Adris loves KFC, y'all. Well, he loves chicken. <laughs> He absolutely loves chicken. Sometimes I wish you guys could get to know the twins, but then 
there's like this other part of me that is glad that they're not on social media so I go back and forth with it but I'm sure one day when they're old enough to decide because when they get to I think it's like 13 or 14 they can make decisions about themselves in terms of our parenting guidelines and also I think on YouTube they have to be like it's either I don't know if it's like 13 14 or 16 it might even be 16 um, so they may not show up until they're like almost grown because you know I'm not trying to have no drama as well as with the whole COPPA thing and YouTube changing their rules around kids and all that stuff they probably won't pop up but sometimes I do wish you guys could like get to know the twins a little bit because they are so unique and they they just they have very very strong personalities <laughs> to say the least <laughs> so so yeah let me get back to this house so you guys I'll catch up with you with you when I get there and they are gone so I can talk a little bit more it's getting late we we're just watching Chris Kumo I think is how you say his last name and um they were just rehashing the George Floyd trial today today was crazy like oh my goodness I just can't even believe it like the fact that he was grabbing his hand and like pulling his arm and pulling his fingers while he had him in that chokehold on the ground like basically pull it's almost like he's pulling his lungs like further apart and then putting pressure on them that just looks like he was trying to kill him I just can't get over it like oh my goodness so anyway I didn't want to spend too uh uh do not get up here do not get up here I made the mistake last night of putting him up here <laughs> when I couldn't sleep and now he is like obsessed so oh my gosh like this dog y'all no 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 oh my gosh he was about to start screaming he's so mad He's like so mad. <gasps> Trying to get this stuff done so I can get ahead for tomorrow. Like, I don't know about you guys, but it's like sometimes I feel like there's just never enough time in the day to do everything. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Thursday. I'm so excited. We're almost done with this work week. It's been such a long week, you guys. Like, I won't sit here and say this has been a bad week, but it has definitely been an interesting week. We're gonna call it an interesting week. <laughs> like, oh my goodness, from that sump pump situation I was telling you guys about to just, I just feel like there's a lot going on. And then also like Brian's birthday, like that was good. But again, like I wanted to do more. So I'm just like, oh my goodness. But I do wanna say I did really good with my trade. So if any of you guys are trading, the last two days have been good days. I actually sold almost all my positions when everything entered into the seller zone this morning. I just knew, like I had a feeling that it was gonna sell off. So I sold my positions. Like right now it looks like the market's trading sideways. So it's kind of just like going up and then down and up and down in the sideways trade. So I sold at the top of that level because I figured like if people use the same indicators as me, who also chart trends, they're gonna be doing the same thing as me, which is gonna pull down the stocks. And worst case, if I sell too early, I'll be able to see an opportunity to get back in. So that's what I did. And I'm really happy about it, because now everything is down. Like, it came way down. So I'm just happy that now I can buy back in and take back advantage of a round trip and like remake that money that I sold and made. <laughs> all over again for a whole nother time so that is like such a good feeling like I I swear it's bad when you like sell a stock and you be hoping it falls again so you can do a round trip and make the same money again <laughs> but it's a it's a um you know it comes with the territory I guess so as you guys can see I have my teddy coat on it is so cold here in Fort Wayne it's about 37 right now and it was warm this weekend I've been without my coat for most of the week but not today she was like mother nature was like no 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 boo not today you are going right back into your jacket so I pulled my teddy coat because I feel like this coat is the warmest coat that I have and it always makes me feel so 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 warm because I hate being cold so I grabbed my little teddy coat back out you know we're gonna revisit her one last time hopefully <laughs> before we get into 
spring for good. I was also thinking like, I probably should call the guy who does our landscaping. I actually had sent him a text a couple days ago, but I haven't heard back yet. But I wanna see if he can come out and put our mulch down as well as get us some like stuff for spring, some flowers and whatnot, because I want our, our whole flower situation to be super cute for 2021. So I, I feel like a full grown adult now, y'all, because I be doing my flowers, I'm trying to do the house stuff. Like we really are into full blown adulting. <laughs> so it's like kind of exciting low key. So with that being said, I, uh, I cannot wait. Last year we had him put in those ever, I think they're called, they're not evergreen, but it's like ever something trees. They're basically like these privacy trees. We put those in the backyard and I think I'm gonna have him put like five more on the other side. That way when I do finally get my hot tub, there is like enough coverage that way no one can see us. So I'm super geeked. I cannot wait, you know, until summertime so we can fully enjoy our backyard and our landscaping and all that good stuff. So. I probably will call him live this afternoon and make that arrangement, which will be so exciting. And then the sump pump dude, he is coming tomorrow, tomorrow morning from like eight to 10, so he can replace the sump pump, the whole like setup that we have, get us right, that way we don't have to worry about our sump pump situation for a few years, and can start to sleep better. Cause I know even though he has a system in there right now, I still be worried because that's not like our full final system and I don't know what the backup is on this like temporary thing he set up. So I'll be able to sleep a little bit better after Friday. I feel like that's all the updates I have for you guys. Any of you guys trading right now? Do y'all have long positions? I definitely think after we get past this holiday, things are gonna finally start going back on the up and up. But um, you know, I'm excited. This was a pretty decent week. I had a feeling it was gonna turn out okay with this holiday, but you know, we made it. Recently, I was put on to smoothies. I've always kind of gone to Smoothie King, but I never thought about making smoothies myself. So Arius first was talking about smoothie bowls, but I decided to like do some research and I've started to buy stuff to make smoothies. And I don't think I've actually talked to you guys about it. I showed a clip at one of the end of my recent videos, but I feel like a smoothie right now. I'm not hungry for dinner quite yet. So I think I'm gonna have a smoothie and a light dinner and just show you guys how I am making my little smoothies. It's actually super simple. So if you've never made your own, you can start like this and then you can start to incorporate other things because some people do a lot of different things. Here we go. Okay, so we're gonna use strawberries and bananas. I want mine to be a little bit creamier. So I'm actually gonna use a fresh banana and then I'm gonna put a little bit of milk not a lot but a little bit of milk and I think that's it Down a brick road, click your heels and you'll be there. I want you, you want me too. Once you hear the rhythm playing, promise you won't be complaining. I'll be here for you if it's for you. Once my body gets to sway and promise you won't be complaining. A smoothie mug. And I'll be saying, yeah. gotten a little bit of cake. Brian had some birthday cake left. And this birthday cake was so, so good. Like, oh my goodness. So good. My friend Latoya had called, we were talking about this conversation around, should men who make a really, really lot of money 
have demands for their women and demands like you don't have a job or you don't chase your goals you basically are just available for them <laughs> it was a really interesting conversation I think we're actually going to incorporate that into our Friday conversations we've been having on Clubhouse so stay tuned for that because y'all we was cracking up oh my goodness so <laughs> stay tuned this Friday actually is gonna be really good we're gonna get into mature talk you know some grown adult conversations about intimacy and relationships and I cannot wait like I still need to put together the trailer for it but I think it's gonna be a really amazing conversation if you guys are available at 8 45 Eastern Standard Time on Friday it's gonna be some grown and sexy conversation for all my mature ladies out there and fellas y'all are welcome too okay so you guys in last week's video I talked about or I actually played a little clip from a book called the mastery of love the book is by an author let me see if I can get his exact name it's a uh, Don Miguel Ruiz and he is the same author of the four agreements the book is so good so if you like that little clip definitely check the book out you can get the paperback the hardback or if you just want to listen to it on audible which is where I usually get my books from definitely definitely check it out and come back and let me know what you think like it was so good like that book just opened your mind a lot to the expectations you have for your relationships and I think it applies to not only your romantic relationships but also the relationships you have with your friends so if you have not listened to it or read it definitely check that book out for sure because it's a lot to unpack and there's a lot of things I know just for myself that I have kind of grown to the current perspective I have about love and this just I feel like Help me break some things down a little bit that I just hadn't thought about the way that he presented them in this book. But you guys, it's actually, I saw this video starting to get kind of long, so I'm gonna go ahead and close it out here and enjoy my cake and my, my little smoothie I have going on. But I just wanted to say I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. If you guys haven't already, hit the thumbs up button before we exit the video. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe so you don't miss my weekly vlogs or any other content that I have coming because I got a lot of really dope stuff coming for you guys in the real near future. But I will see you guys later. I do have one really quick question. Would you guys like me to incorporate two vlogs a week? So basically we have the weekly vlog and then I was thinking I could do a weekend vlog where basically that one would go live on Mondays. So let me know if y'all would be interested in that. You know, it's not something that we gotta do, but if I have enough interest, I think I'm gonna put that together for you guys as well. Otherwise, what I've been doing so far is just taking clips from the weekend and putting it in the a weekly vlog like you saw this week so y'all let me know I would love to get your perspective but I just hope y'all have a blessed week a good weekend and all that good stuff and I'll see y'all next week and I'll see y'all next time bye bye take it away take it away feeling too good to me Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, what did you do?